the software that we use as freight brokers has improved a ton over the recent years. And we've seen dozens of new software companies take their stab at creating the latest and greatest TMS for brokers. Why wouldn't they? The industry's blowing up and everyone wants to get a piece of it. But that leads us to this question, which one should I get? Well, we can't tell you which TMS platform is best for you, but we can help you navigate the process of selecting your TMS. Welcome back everyone. I'm Nate Cross with Freight360. And in this week's video, I'm gonna break down the steps to help you pick out your next freight broker software. If you're new to our channel, please go ahead, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to hit that little notification icon to make sure that you stay up to date on all of our latest content. All right, so first of all, let's talk about software. We often hear it called a TMS, but what is a TMS? A TMS, it's an acronym for Transportation Management System. And that's the software that freight brokers use every single day to manage just about everything that we do. A TMS stores all the information about our customers, our motor carriers, and all the loads that we're currently brokering. A good TMS should be a one-stop shop for all of the tasks that you're doing as a freight broker every single day. So you, that way you don't have to consistently keep switching between different screens and different programs, different monitors, just to get your work done. You should be able to do everything from start to finish right inside of your single source TMS. It has everything you need. Here's a basic example of how this might look. So first, you add a new customer to your TMS and you're gonna assign them a credit line. Next, you build a new load for them. You're adding all of the load details, such as you know, what is the commodity, how much does it weigh, where is it picking up, where is it delivering to, and so on. There's a lot of details you can put in there. Now, next you're gonna source a truck inside of your TMS, and this can be done a ton of different ways, but perhaps you found a truck that's been posted as available on one of the load boards, which your TMS happens to be integrated with, such as DAT. Next, you're gonna vet that carrier out we're gonna see if maybe they have any safety violations, is their insurance up to par, et cetera. And then you'll assign them to that load. This leads you to the next step, which is to generate and send out a rate confirmation to that carrier. And maybe you're gonna send them a tracking request as well through something like Trucker Tools or Macro Point. Now it's time to dispatch them. You'll stay in touch with your driver or the dispatcher with periodic check calls, or maybe you're using GPS and you're just gonna mark their status updates along the way, all the way from when they pick up that load until they deliver that load at the last destination. Finally, you're gonna receive a proof of delivery, often called a POD. You'll send an invoice to your customer, and then you'll pay your carrier for their services. This can all be done inside of a good single TMS. But here's the issue. Not all TMS platforms are created equally. So let's talk about features. The example that I just laid out for you requires a lot of different features that not every single TMS is gonna have, but most TMSs will have the ability to add on a lot of those features, which might come at an additional cost. A bare bones TMS should let you manage your customers, manage your carriers, and manage all of your loads, but not a whole lot more unless you're gonna spend additional money to add on some of those features. So let's take a look at some of the additional features that you'll wanna look at when selecting a new TMS for your freight brokerage. First up is gonna be the CRM. We've talked about CRMs and plenty of our other content. This is your customer relationship management tool. It'll help you track your prospects as well as your current customers with in-depth details, follow-up reminders, contact lists, and so much more. Next is customer vetting. Are you able to check the credit worthiness for a new customer from within your TMS? Some can do that while others don't include this tool. You might wanna use a third party tool like Ansonia or Blue Book Services to get some kind of background on a customer. But some of the new TMSs out there do include credit vetting built right into them. Now, a really important one is gonna be carrier vetting. So how about integration with the FMCSA's Safer system? A good TMS is going to allow you to search a carrier by their MC number, their DOT number, their name, et cetera, and you can pull their safety rating, their authority information, so how long have they had their authority, has it ever been revoked, what is their insurance details, what kind of reviews do they have, and a whole lot more. This way, you're able to make an informed decision when you're gonna contract that next carrier based out of Glendale. 
Rating tools are really crucial too. So whether it's rate view, sonar, your historical data from your company, you're gonna wanna know what the market rates are now, what they were in the past, and what you were paying for a load five or six months ago. This is something that a lot of TMSs have the ability to do. It normally comes with an extra cost as well as licenses for those products. GPS tracking has become very, very common lately. So being able to quickly set up GPS tracking for one of your drivers on one of your loads is a huge time saver. It's gonna give you better visibility on your customer's loads and you can have super quick communication just sent out from macro point or whatever GPS vendor you're using right to your customer and it's super effortless. So how about accounting? Now, accounting is where a lot of TMS platforms are lacking. Most TMSs require a third-party accounting suite like a QuickBooks that way they can fully manage the receivables and payables for your business. But there are some TMS platforms out there that do it all right inside their platform. They usually come with a bigger price tag, but the bigger your brokerage gets, this might be on your wish list. All right, now that we've looked at all those features, how about cost? How much should you be paying for a TMS? Clearly you can see that all those features and options are almost endless. And like we say around here pretty often, you get what you pay for. Most TMS companies have moved to a subscription model where you're gonna pay something like a certain dollar amount per month per user, or they might give you a, a you know five users or something like that. This can be a cost-effective way when you're a, a smaller company, but as you grow and you're adding more team members, those costs every single month per user can get a little overwhelming. There are a handful of companies that have a per load fee instead of a per user fee, so they're gonna charge you a maybe a couple bucks a load or 50 cents a load. Some even charge a one-time charge and give you a lifetime license, and then they might just have some smaller administrative fees and any kind of add-ons. So you can spend anywhere from under $100 a month as a new broker, or spend millions of dollars to have a custom TMS designed just for you. This cost range is obviously crazy, it's nuts, but you don't need to overspend when you're just getting started. Keep that in mind. Take lots of demos, figure out what features are must-haves for you versus maybe it's just on your wish list, right? And don't break the bank. This can be a, a huge expense that you don't need to spend. So what do we recommend for a TMS? At Freight360, we've spent a ton of time checking out a bunch of different TMS platforms, and there's two that we really like for brokers that are either getting started or maybe they're growing. Both of these are cost-effective solutions, and they have a great value for the amount of features that you'll get access to. Ascend TMS, some people have heard it called the free TMS, is a great web-based TMS platform that keeps adding new features every single month. They've got tens of thousands of users, and they release updates based on their customers' feedback as well as their requests. Clocking in at $79 per person per month as of 2022, it's hard to beat their pricing. You can even get a free month of their premium version using a referral code of ours that's down in the description box. There's also a free basic version that really is free. That's where the, the free TMS comes from. Their CEO, Tim, he explained it to us like this. Their premium version is like a brand new car, while the free basic version, it's like that same car, but there's no interior, it's not leather, and it only has one door. It can still get you from A to B, but the premium version is where you really want to be. And it's definitely worth the price at only $79 a month. Another great TMS that we're a trusted partner of is Rose Rocket. If you really like the user experience and you're all about that UX, you've got to check out Rose Rocket. They also, just like Ascend, they have a paid and a freemium version, but we really like their paid version the most. It can do just about everything you need as a freight broker. The look and feel is so crisp and clean and it's super easy to use. We had Rob from Rose Rocket on episode 118 of Freight 360. So make sure to check out that podcast to get a full deep breakdown on the Rose Rocket TMS platform. You can also use the link down in the description box to get the best possible price. Their pricing varies depending on what kind of brokerage you are, the features you need, and what kind of add-ons you'll have. So make sure to get with Rose Rocket directly just by going to their website or using the link that we've got to make sure that you've got the best package put together by them. Lastly, the biggest recommendation that I'll give you is this, be patient and do lots of research and take lots of demos. Every single TMS company out there is a software company. They've got sales reps. They can woo you into thinking that you need to have their system. You need every single feature and every single add-on. No one knows your company like you do. So take your time and be patient. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.